Roswell Flight Test Crew here at CES 2019 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. And I'm here talking to our friend Andrew St. Pierre from Autel. How are you doing, Andrew? Hey, I'm doing good, Patrick. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. Always a pleasure to be here. Now, you guys have got a couple of new accessories to support the Autel Evo. Why don't you tell the folks about them? Sure. So we'll start with the uh, long-awaited multi-charger that everyone's waiting for. Bring this in here to frame here. So this will hold uh, up to four batteries, and what it'll do is it's going to sequentially charge each battery. Uh, what it's going to do a little different though, it's going to charge one battery up to 80%, move on to the next battery, start charging that, and then trickle charge that last 20% when it's balancing those cells. So you're going to save a little bit of time there. So that's going to be a nice little feature. The A lights up, which will let you have those indicators, letting you know what's going on, and then the lights will still trickle up as well. Oh, what's great though is it's going to use your standard auto robotics charger. So what you have at home, you'll already be able to plug right in. Um, and then it'll also be compatible with that car charger that's now available on our website. And what else you got? All right, so the next one I have is the Live Deck. This is uh, kind of created for those first responders, um, those uh, police officers or firefighters that are looking to broadcast out an HDMI signal to a command center or a command vehicle. So the Live Deck, it's got a couple different options on it. We're going to have an HDMI output. We'll also have USB port, so we'll be able to plug our application into it, just like the Explorer app. And there's also an Ethernet port, so we can plug it right into a laptop, Windows, Mac, um, and ingest that video right into a PC sort of system. The, uh, the system itself does have a built-in battery pack that's going to last for about four hours, or we could plug in a micro, uh, micro USB port and keep it charged uh, continuously. And that's just going to bind just like a second controller would to the Evo. Very cool. And I see it's got some little antennas on the back here, so this is how you receive from the aircraft? Yes, yeah, so it's going to receive directly from the aircraft to this box. So we'll see the same range from this system to the aircraft um, while we're up there. And what's nice too is these are standard connectors on the back. So if you do have an Evox sort of trailer of sorts, um, you should be able to patch in cables right to this with an antenna up on the roof and have this sitting inside. Very clever, very clever. All right, so both these things, when are they going to be available? So they're both in development, finishing up the final details. Uh, we don't have any pricing or schedule released quite yet. All righty. So stay tuned here for those results when they become available. Well, Andrew, thanks so much. Always a pleasure. Hey, Patrick, thanks so much. It was great seeing you. We'll see you soon. All righty. And from CES 2019 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew signing off. Thanks again, Yeah, Andrew. of course.